Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop video tutorial. I know I haven't been here for around two weeks, but the reason why I was preparing something really great, I was preparing high-end retouch course which will be available in probably the next two weeks. And as I was doing this course for you, I got another great idea actually for a very quick Photoshop tutorial for you. And in today's video, I would like to talk about brush and actually I would like to talk about opacity and flow as well as about layers, opacity and fill. What's the difference between them? Because I know many of you doesn't know what's the difference between these two. I'm going to start with uh, brush, opacity and flow. So at first, let me create new project for this. I'm going to press file new project and that's all right we've got a new project and let me start with flow the reason why i opened the uh, picture because flow is actually very useful to do dungeon and burning and few other things so that's why i thought it's really great to talk about this and actually i'm going to pull up the flow and about opacity i'm going to start with 40 let's say so when we use opacity as you can see i use color black right now so as you can see when i paint with opacity 40 percent the opacity of this black color is not changing no matter how many times i'm going to paint over and over the only one way to build up this color is to unclick if you use mouse on pull up the pen if you're using a vacuum tablet and paint once again so we're going to add and build up a bit this color but when the thing is about flow i'm going to choose flow 40 percent and as i paint once the flow is very slow but as you can see when i stop in this point the flow is getting very strong. So what does it mean? Flow gives us possibility to build up the colors when we paint something on the image. Uh, for example, when you work with tones or with Dutch and burn, as much as we're going to paint over, our color is built up. So that's the basic difference between flow and opacity. Flow gives us opportunity to build up our color. So when I'm going back to my image and I'm going to create new layer, opacity won't give me this possibility. But if I'm going to work with flow, very soft flow, I can paint on this image. I'm not doing this right for now. Just don't don't do this on your picture. And I'm going to paint with this. As you can see, I have a possibility to build up my dodging whatever I want. So this gives me really nice workflow actually. So that's the main difference between opacity and flow. Opacity always stay the same. However, flow is going to build up. So obviously I prefer to work with flow when I do dungeon and burning or if I work with tones, I always recommend flow. And the other thing is our layer opacity and fill i'm just going to create new layer above fill layer white once again so actually when we talk about opacity and fill it's very difficult to get the difference on the empty layer the difference when we're going to see is when we work with layer styles and the best example is when we use them uh, text for example I'm going to create two text layers of course this is way too big the 100 and our color will be let's say it will be black and let's place this somewhere here and I'm going to do a text just ABC as an example and then I'm going to create another 
text layer and I'm going to write ABC once again so the first one I'm going to call opacity and the second one flow so when we go into work with layer styles we will see what's the difference let me start with opacity I'm going to work with layer styles and I'm going to choose a stroke we're going to add the stroke let's say the color will be red so something different than dark to make it clear for you of course this is too strong just let's say something like this size can be like this so then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the fill layer so then I'm going to do so then I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the fill layer blending option stroke and size and of course the color red once again well the size is obviously too big something like that and press ok so what is happening when we change the opacity of this layer for let's say 50 percent as you can see we change in opacity of whole layer however fill as the name says when we change the fill we only change the opacity of the thing what is inside so when i said 50 percent we get in 50 percent of this black color we were working at first however the red layer is staying the same so i would say the fill opacity is pretty much useful when we work on the text layer so that's the main difference between opacity and fill layer and before that that was the main thing between opacity and flow if you have any questions please leave a comment below and see you very soon